do, 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 do. I'm love, it says I'm love. I don't know if I'm love. Whoop. Hi! Let me know if you can see me. Oh great, I gotta watch an ad for my own video. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Every time. Oh yay! You guys can hear me okay? Terry! Young Teasy, I can't believe you are... <laughs> it's 1 a.m. where you are. Hi, Michelle. Looks live. Anthony. Anthony and Michelle. Hello. Wonderful. Looks live. Live like a butterfly. I don't know. I just made that up. You're seen and heard. Justin Martin. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. I know. I never know. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, guys. So I won't be able to see what you write for just a little bit as we do this. Okay, so today we have a full body workout. It's going to be using dumbbells. I do have a kettlebell here because it was requested by my old coworker slash boss, Matt, because they customized it for me. And yeah, it's gonna be 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do and then 45 seconds on. We're gonna start with a warm up. I'm excited, you can't see me again, ha ha. Ha, ha, ha. Roar. Okay, let's get warmed up. So starting out, feet out wide, sink down side to side. Wee. All the way side to side. Guys, it's snowing. It's snowing today and it's May. It really shouldn't surprise me since we live in Wisconsin, but whatever. <laughs> Three, two, one. Keep those feet out wide, arms out. Kick across that body. Think about exhaling every time you kick across. So we get that nice crunch for our core. Get a little stretch for our hamstrings too. And cardio strength and abs today. So get ready for everything. Three, two, one, butt kickers. Bring those knees in front slightly and then kick that booty in back. Remember, oh, let me burn. Okay, so remember if anything goes wrong with the live stream, I do have a backup workout for you. So either way, we will be working out together today. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, jumping jacks. Touch the hands to the top, jump the feet out wide or tap it. This is up to you. Keep it going. Nice, strong core. Keep jumping out, big steps out wide. Let's go three, two, one, and chest facing forward. We're gonna bring that left leg in back, sink down, and tap, sink it down, a little curtsy, warming up those glutes, warming up those quads, keep it going, sinky, sinky, tap, let's go one more, and switch sides, tap it, sink it down, nice flat back too, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna be fun, let's go two more on this side, last one, and nice job. We're gonna come down to the ground, walk it out of the plank. Woo! And from here, press back down dog. And then we're gonna bring our right foot to the outside of the right hand, open up the chest, and keep alternating. Down dog, bring it up, and raise it. Press it back. Really warming up those shoulders, warming up the core, getting some nice stretch for our body as well. Waking it up, whatever time it is for you guys. Let's go one more. And press back into down dog again. Warm up the calves. Bicep pull out those feet. Other way. Really think about pressing through those palms and those fingertips. Hips up in the air. Three, two, one. Flip it around time. Feet up straight. We're going to reach for those toe touches. Press it up. Really think about using your breath here. Exhale up, inhale down. We're not leading with our chest, we're pressing through with that belly button. And activating that core. Let's do two more. Last one. And roll it, reach through. So when you roll back, make sure you're not rolling on your neck or on your head. Roll back and reach.
reach. Still getting the core and adding some fun element to it. Let's go two more. Last one. All right, stay here in the seated position. Reach over side to side, planting one hand. And you can change directions that you're going. You can go straight out to the side and go in back of you. This is free game here. Let's go two more. Last one. All right, so left leg dropped in front, right leg in back. From here, add some movement. Side to side. You can add some stretches, or some stretches. You can add some twists to it. And then you go ahead and plant those hands in back. Switch. Side to side. Movement flow here. I love this when I add it into my workouts. And switch again. We're going to pick up the speed. And switch. Take your time though. Remember, this is your workout. So if you want to go a little bit slower, you can. Switch again. We're going to switch one more time. And then go ahead. And we're going to go up. Three, two, one. And let's go ahead. Come up nice and easy. Slowly roll it up. Bounce it out. Rotate those arms forward. Almost done warming up. And then we're going to get right into the workout. I'm excited. I just get so, I get so nervy. <laughs> and go ahead, bring it back. But like excited nervy with these live streams. Three, two, one. And back lunges, alternate legs. Now you always want to make sure you step back, stay straight down. Thinking elevator, not escalator. Keeping our back nice and flat. Almost there. Let's go two more, one on each side. Last one, and finish out with some skaters. So, side to side, work on that stability. Keep it going, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go a few more, last four, three, two, one, and let's get started. So, grab a drink if you need it, I need it. My mouth always gets drier for live streams. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check the messages one more time to make sure everything's okay. And we'll get started. Hello, Fred, Angela, Michelle, Farida, Heidi, Jamie, Nagon, Ivy, Clementine Diva. Wonderful. Alright, guys, so yeah, favorite peeps here. Alright, guys, 15 seconds. We're gonna start it out. So I'm gonna use my kettlebell just because it's heavier and it's really pretty. Toes are gonna be facing out, chest up. We're gonna come down. One, two, three, and come up, okay? So you wanna think about, again, toes out. This is a sumo squat, so we're getting those inner and outer thighs. Think about squeezing that butt at the top, but when you do this, make sure you're not hyperextending the spine. So if you want a nice squeeze, I don't want you to challenge your guys, your guys and self, and <laughs> not anyone else's self. Um, with weights today, okay? So try to use a heavier weight. You can use two if you want to. That is always an option too. Two, three, and up. Nice flat back. One, two, three. We got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go straight to cardio. Why not? Three, two, one. All right, so cardio. Four knee pull burpee. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Come down, come up. Modify the burpee if you need to by walking it out, okay? So three, two, one, two, three, four. Come down, up. Don't forget to jump at the top. One, two, three, four. Down, up, and jump. One, two, three, four. Exhale every time. You drive that knee in. One, two, three, four. Keep going, guys. 20 seconds. Yes. One, two, three, four. Oh, baby. We're going to go back to strength after this. So I want you to give it your all in this cardio. One, two, three, four. All right. Next up. Single leg squat, single arm raise. 
I'm gonna grab dumbbell on the right hand, stabilize on the left leg, okay? From here, single leg squat, come up, and front raise. Let's go. Sink down, come up, front raise, nice and controlled. Try to hover that right foot if you can. Back is flat, raise it. When we elevate like this, it makes us really not be able to cheat that front raise because we can't use momentum, which is good because we never want to. Keep it going. Sink down. You can always make this a back lunge. If your balance is super off today, you can do a back lunge instead. Now remember which leg you're on because we're not done on this side yet. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're still going to stabilize on our left leg. We're going to go with that curtsy just like we did in the warm-up. So curtsy, hover. This time we're doing a side raise, okay? So we need more of that shoulder. We got the front, now we need to get the side, that nice cap. That wonderful cap. Oh, and that leg, you know. Take your time in this movement. Sink down, back is flat. Sink down. Glute should really start to feel it after, whoops, tappies, after what we just did. If Nina tap down in between, it's really not a big deal, it's okay. Whew. Sink it down, bring it up. Nice, strong core. Keep going, guys. Sink down, up, and raise. Almost there. And up. We're gonna repeat on the other side then. Glute should be on fire. You know if this weight is challenging enough for you. So make sure you're challenging yourself. All right, so single leg squat. Ooh, a spider. <laughs> Jeez, so many friends today. We got a hummingbird, we got a spider. He's just staring at me now. Hi, okay. Single leg squat, get ready. Three, two, let's go. Single leg squat, come up, front raise. Ooh. So after that next curtsy, we're gonna go back to cardio. <laughs> so don't get too comfortable. Sink down, bring it up, and raise it. Keep it going, guys. Now I see some of the lawn people over there, so I'm hoping they don't turn on their lawn mowers. But if they do, it's okay. You get to live the life that I'm living right now. <laughs> ASMR lawn mowing. Keep going. And up. Almost there. That glute. Three, two. All right. So next up, we're going to go with that curtsy with that side raise. Again, make sure you're using tough enough weight for you. So stabilize on your right leg, chest facing forward. Bring it out to the side. Three, two, one. Sink it down. Try to hover and raise it. Keep it going. Back is flat. So make sure you're not collapsing forward when you're doing that curtsy. Step behind, sink down. Oh, the spider is getting closer. Good, good, good. That's what I wanted. I'm just taking you guys on this ride. I want there to be a webcam on him, on his adventure. <laughs> Keep going. Sink down, up, and raise it. Woo! Almost there, guys. We got. 10 seconds. We're gonna keep that weight. Three, two, one. All right, so four jumping jack presses, 10 weighted high knees. Starting with your feet together. We got one, two, three, four, 10 weighted high knees. Let's get ready for it. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it flowing through. Two, three, four. Remember, you can always tap out those jumping jacks. Just like in the warm up. Keep it going. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. One, two, three, four. Keep fighting through. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, five, six. And we're gonna keep this weight after this. Not quite done with cardio. <laughs> All right, so next up, squat jump with a dumbbell twist. 
So we're gonna sink down, jump, twist. So really think about exhaling as you twist through so we get those obliques. Again, you can take the jump out if you want. Back is flat. Sink down. Keep going. Jump high. Remember, if it's not challenging enough, do add weight. Whoop. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> Sink down. Up. Twist. Keep going, guys. Oh my goodness. Up. Twist. We got 15 seconds. Keep going. Hop. Twist. Last 10. Ooh, the sun. Sink down. Up. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Cossack squats. So feet are out wide. From here, it's like side to side lunges, except you're gonna get on the heel of that straight leg. Sink down. Make sure your back is flat. Push your butt back, sink down on that heel of the foot that is um, bent. So this is really getting those adductors. So those are the inner thighs, which is awesome. And we're also getting those quads. We're gonna get into some arms after this. So, get ready for that. Get ready. Finish it out, we got 10 seconds. Sink down, bring it up. Last three, two. All right, so next up is Zotman curls. Shoulder blades back and down. Curl, turn your palms down, control on the way down. Make sure your elbows aren't flaring out, okay? Curl, elbows in slowly come down. All right, let's go. So just gain biceps, and you'll definitely feel it in those forearms as you control that weight down. Nice and controlled. So make sure you're not speeding up. Make sure you're not letting momentum take over. You are in full, full control here. Keep going, guys. Curl, squeeze those biceps. Make sure you're using top weight. Challenge yourself. Oh, baby. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> Almost there. We're going back to cardio. We got five, four, three. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So next up, you're going to go to one side. If you go, don't have one side to go to, you're just going to jump straight up. Feet close together. Narrow. One, two, three, four. So you're kicking out. Okay, you can always do high knees if you need to. So, narrow jump, one, two, three, four. Really bring those knees up, two, three, four. The higher you kick, the more challenging it's gonna be. And we wanna challenge ourselves, because this is a short workout. So, we wanna make sure we get the most out of it. Keep it up, guys. One, two, three, four. All the way. One, two, three, four. Nice job, guys. Whew. One, two, three, four. Finish it out. Three, four. We got three, two, one. All right, next up. We're gonna sink down into a low squat. Taking our left hand, we're gonna plant it. Then we're gonna kick our left leg, bring it back, back to a squat or a low squat. Sink it, kick it out, and back. Sink it, kick. Getting those obliques, woo! <laughs> I'm on the balls of my feet, so it makes it a little bit more challenging for balance. Now, if this is too much for you, no big deal. You can come to a plank and can lift, okay? Because you're still working that core, you're still taking a limb out of it, so it makes it more challenging. Woo, my obliques. Make sure you don't collapse into the shoulder. Oh yeah. <laughs> Legs should start to burn. Five, four, three, two. I gotta see what we have next. Hello. This is my 
close self to you. All right, crisscross. So crisscross one leg, burpee. Come up. If you can't do that, crisscross, regular burpee. Crisscross, one burpee. I'm gonna do chest to floor, just because honestly I just prefer it. Weirdly enough, <laughs> one. Keep going guys. Up and jump. Oh, look how bright it is now. The snow's like, I'm about done here. <laughs> Keep going. Up, jump. Keep it rocking, guys. 10 seconds. And jump. Crisscross. Finish it. Yeah. All right, next up, coming down. Eight crab quicks. I like to have my hands out and twist heel or a little bit angled and back. So we're gonna go two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Then plant both feet, reach over, reach over. Let's do it. Keep it going. If you need to walk it out like this, that is an option. Just make sure you're not collapsing your shoulders. Shoulders are nice and engaged. Woo! Keep it going. I love this one. My core. My core feels it. Be light on those feet. Reach. Use those hips. Squeeze your butt at the top. Two, three, five, six, eight. Those always make my legs feel so heavy. They always feel so heavy in this. One, two, four, five, seven, eight. All right. Whew. Next up, we're going to go to a push up. So, push up, arm into a side plank out and around, and back. If you need to come to the knees, you can. I'm going to show the mod next. So, you guys go for it. Push up, lift. Push up, lift. If that's still too much, the super push up. Up. Out and around. Again, getting up legs. Woo! Keep it going, guys. 25 seconds. Yay! Press up. Really think about push or um, squeezing not only your core, but your glutes in a push-up. You want to press through those fingertips and the entire hand, really. And also, come down with one unit, come up with one unit. All right. Next up, we're going to have to work back now. So, I'm going to grab my weights. Dumbbell fly in wide rows. Feet close together, back flat. Fly, palms up, row. Just keep on alternating. Again, flat back, fly, row. If you're having trouble getting into this pose, hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly. Neck neutral. Keep it going, guys. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Make sure you bring your arms out into a T, not in back like this. Okay, so out into that T. Squeeze. Whew. After this, we have abs. <laughs> yes. Love it. Love abs. Squeeze. Out into that T. Out. And squeeze. Almost there, guys. Whew. All right. Next up, straight leg bicycle side reaches. So we're going to have our, our legs straight. You're going to reach the side, switch, reach the side, getting those obliques. If that's too much, bend those knees. Let's go. Whew. Keep going. Really reach out. Wee. <laughs> I like this one. I feel like a like a drunk ballerina <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Look how graceful she's trying to be. <laughs> Keep going, guys. You can point the toes to make it prettier. <laughs> Always remember to point the toes. I know this because I took Miss Pole. <laughs> Makes it prettier. Woo! All right. Next up, reach throughs. Oh, I like these. 
So most challenging version, head and shoulders, feet off the ground. You're gonna out with V, reach through, bring it back. A little bit easier, bring it up, open, and reach through. Keep it going. Now, if that's too much for you, just have your feet out wide and reach up, reach up. There's a bunch of different options for you. Remember to bring your feet down in between if you can. Bringing your feet straight into that V first is a lot more challenging. Now make sure your lower back doesn't get into this. So in order to do that, really think about flattening that lower back on the ground. Don't let yourself curve. Whew. Keep it up. Whew. 10 seconds. Yes. That's nothing. Reach. Four, three, two. All right. Hello, core. <laughs> okay, next up, we have frog reverse punch and reach forward. So we're going to have bounce the feet together. Support, oh, no, don't support your lower back. Reach up. Reach through, just like in the beginning. So reach up, reach through. Whew, I'll face this way so you get a better idea of what your legs should look like. If you're more flexible, the bottoms of the feet might be flatter together. I am working on my flexibility, so it's, it's gonna slowly happen. <laughs> reach up, press through. Keep going, guys. Yes. Whew, only two moves after this. Keep killing that core. Whew, this is fun. <laughs> All the way. We got five, four, three, two. All right. Next up is scissor kicks. So we are going to support our lower back on this one. Yay. Ten shoulders off the ground. Open up those feet and then cross them over. Oh, baby. Okay, let's go. Really about pressing belly button into the floor. Open your feet up as wide as you can so we work those abductors, those outer thighs. And when you bring them in, adducting, you're gonna work your inner thighs. So again, try to get rid of that curve in that back. None of that business. Only one move after this, guys. So keep it up. We're strong. We're strong. We got this. Use your breath. Keep crossing over, opening up those feet. Keep it up, guys. After this last move, we're going to stretch. So stay with me. Sphincter shoulder presses. If you have more in you, what you're going to do is come into a plank, walk forward, down, up, back, two shoulder taps. If you can't do the sphinx, what I want you to do instead is either just two shoulder taps, so you guys go ahead, or down, down, up, up. Whatever you guys got. Try to keep your hips as straight as you can when you do that sphinx or that upper body mountain climber. Really getting those triceps when we do that sphinx pose. Really getting that core. So make sure you keep it nice and engaged. 15 seconds. Last 10. You got it. Five, four, three, two. Let's finish it. All right. We are stretching. That was so great. Yay. So let's go ahead. Come down to the ground. Just kidding. We're already there. So have our feet out wide. From here, have your toes facing up. Think about pressing those heels into that ground. Keep your spine tall as you can. And way of keeping your spine tall is I'm walking forward. You can add some side to side movement here. Keep actively pressing those heels in the ground, pointing those toes up. Thank you guys so much for joining me, especially on a Friday, especially if you're young TV and you, it's 1 a.m. That's crazy dedication. Ooh, so thank you guys. Go ahead, collapse into this. Again, feel free to add some movement. Woo. All right. And just like in the beginning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick that left leg, bring it in front. Right leg goes in back. From here, grow tall on that spine. We're gonna take our right hands, 
Bring it to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist. And keep flowing through the back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Breathe. Woo. And then slowly unwind. Bring it forward. Hang out here. And let's go ahead and switch sides. So one side might be tighter, that's all right. Inhale, grow tall. And let's go ahead, left hand to right knee, right hand and back, twist. Breathe here. This side is definitely, definitely more tight. <laughs> and slowly bring it back, bring it forward as much as you can. And let's go ahead and walk it forward, tabletop position. We're gonna get those shoulders, so hand, or knees under the hips, walk the hands forward. If you can, come to the fingertips and pulse it out here. You can go side to side. Breathe. Woo. And walk it back, right leg forward, press into it, into that runner's lunge. Getting the back hip flexor to that left leg. And if you feel stable enough, what you're going to do is you're going to take your left hand, reach over, getting the left side of that body. And then go ahead, come back, sandwich that foot, walk it back onto that heel. You can stay here. You can come here if that's more comfortable. Or if you can, you're going to sit down on that hip. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle it, wiggle it. And bring it forward. Let's switch. Left leg forward, press into it. One side again might be tighter, so just listen to your body, breathe through it. Right arm up, reach. Reach, 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 get those fingertips. Open. And slowly bring it back to center, sandwich that foot. Walk it back wherever you want to go here. Go ahead, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle if you want to. Oh yeah. And go ahead. We're gonna bring it forward into a crisscross applesauce. <laughs> and from here, hands onto the knees. We're gonna do like a cat cow kind of thing, but with the crisscross applesauce. So really think about opening up the chest, inhale. Eyes to the ceiling, relax the mouth. Exhale, round that back, tuck the chin the chest. Inhale, bring it through. Soft face, I know you're tensing up. <laughs> Exhale. Go two more. Inhale, soft face. hand and I want you to try to relax your neck entirely. So now on the left side, you're going to take your left hand, place on the shoulder, and we're going to pulse. So you should feel this. If you're super tight in that neck, you'll feel that. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And if you want a, a little deeper stretch, go ahead and take your left arm. Search the ground or the ceiling. Find where it's super tight and stay there and breathe. And then slowly release the hand, slowly, slowly bring that neck down to neutral. Few gentle side to side. Super gentle. And let's go ahead, we're gonna go the other side. So remember to relax your neck entirely. Pulse, right hand on the shoulder this time. Really think about elongating. Breathe. Woo. Take that right hand out if you want to. Oh my goodness. Breathe, <laughs> and slowly bring it back to center. Few side to side, very gentle with the body. And let's go ahead, we're gonna come up, Wee! Slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time, let your neck be the last thing you come down. Roll up the shoulders, if you have the most important, stretch your So let's go ahead, clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. 
and exhale. Oh, push bar, push bar, push bar. We are done for today. Yay! Thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my goodness. Cheshire, Ivy, Michelle, Amanda, Nintendo Wire. Oh, <laughs> that is, that is, um, my mommy's here too. Alberto, Brett, Sonia, Donna. Oh my gosh. Erin. Erin's here. Phyllis. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. Ah. Uh, Thank you, Amanda. I'm so happy to be here for you guys while your gyms are closed. And remember, after, I'm totally here for you guys. So I'm glad that you're still keeping up with your fitness during this time. I know it's like super weird and it's hard, um, but amazing job taking care of yourself and your body. And that's so important to do. So thank you. And oh my God, ah, I always get like really excited. Thank you, Anthony, for supporting me. And Michelle, thank you guys so much for magic harping with me. Um, it means so much. There is that super chat. Thank you guys. It helps to support my channel. If you guys ever want to support my channel in another way too, I have a link down in my description. It says support my channel with an arrow. So thank you. Oh, Karini, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do I get a speech? No, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you so, so much. Oh, Sonia, the Hello Kitty cards. <laughs> yeah. We should do that. Arigato! <laughs> Thank you. Ah, so let me know if you guys want anything, uh, any other requests for workouts, and I will probably do them. I don't know. Jay! Panda! Oh my gosh. Roar! <laughs> I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to just make a fool of myself. Cheshire! Thank you, guys. I hope to see you guys soon. Remember, next week, same time, same place. All right. Goodbye, love you all. Thank you so much for supporting me.